Okay, I have to get serious for a minute here, guys. There's a serious, serious scandal going down at the moment. It's regarding the sustainable development technology of Canada, right? So what their job is, what, what they do is they invest in Canadians developing and advancing sustainable technologies, you know, like green technologies. So this is like a, a part of the government that uh, dishes out the maybe the, the carbon tax money or a, any money that, that's, that's put towards green technology and ways forward, like battery plants and, and all, all things like that. You know what I mean? The green thing. Yeah. The, the race to net zero. When we're all living in caves <laughs> anyway there's a big scandal going down around around that so i'm going to show you something first that uh, northern perspective are covering on this so at the moment they have two videos out possibly three by now and here here is their channel you should really go to northern perspective and watch these these two videos that they've got rolling they they they're long videos, but they explain a lot about what's going on. Here's just a, a clip from this, from, from their awesome channel. This should have led to immediate action, but once those findings reached the Privy Council office and the minister's office, everything changed. ICE had manipulated the findings, withheld the report from the public, and only suspended SDTC on a temporary basis with no plans to act against any single one of the wrongdoers, despite having overwhelming evidence to the contrary. This is wild. This is worse than a Rive Cannon. So as you can see, there's a whistleblower called Mr. Number One, or whatever they want to call him, and he is, well, Witness One, and he is just spilling the beans. He's just, he is one of the heroes of Canada. He is out, he's there talking and actually telling everyone what is going on with this, with, with this scandal. This is bigger, bigger than a Rive scam. This is so much bigger. There's even, if you, on one of Northern's Perspectives videos, there's even a link to Gilbo in one of these. Yeah, it's it's like a, a company that he says he doesn't have any any interest in, but they're actually underlying, they're funding one of these uh, people, one of these companies that's uh, yeah, claiming claiming the the green slush fund cash. And also, Vespa put out uh, a clip that he'd made up and uh, it's definitely well worth sharing here or go and have a look at Vespa on X. Vespa was saying what what is it about this Liberal Party that makes them so inept? This scandal that is being exposed has got to be the most explosive I think we have ever seen and not one, no mainstream media on the left is even touching it because it's so nuclear. You outdid yourselves again Liberals. Have a watch of this. Why did Minister Champagne go against the advice of his officials and politically interfere to keep the SDTC board, the conflicted board that had doled out hundreds of millions of dollars improperly to keep that board in place? Why? Because I think that the current government is more interested in protecting themselves and protecting the situation being a public nightmare and they would rather protect wrongdoers and financial mismanagement than have to deal with a situation like SDDC in the public sphere. Yeah, <laughs> I know Northern Perspective said share this. So yeah, share it guys share this to as many people as you can let's get the word out share the northern perspective um links make sure that everybody is watching this and is up to date on this because like other things if we if we can if we can highlight it then the mainstream media can't ignore it so like sam so.